it's a process. It doesn't happen overnight. Uh, when you uh, depersonalize another person and view them as just an object, uh, an object for pleasure instead of a, a living, breathing human being, uh, it it seems to make it easier to uh, do things you shouldn't do. The reason why Jeffrey Dahmer was able to... You do sound, though, like the kind of person who could have said to himself, this is wrong, I must stop. I always knew that, that it was wrong, but uh, uh, after the, f the first... The first uh, killing was not planned. I was uh, coming back from the shopping mall back in 78. I had had uh, fantasies about picking up a, a hitchhiker and uh, taking him back to the house and uh, having complete control and dominance over him. No one, no one had a clue as to what was happening for, for over a decade. What happened to you in the nine years in between that you were able to stop, that you were able to control yourself? It just wasn't an opportunity to uh, fully express what I wanted to, to do. There was just not the, op the physical opportunity to do it then. And uh, I started, when I moved to Milwaukee in 81, uh, I started reading pornography, going to the bookstores. Um, eventually that led to uh, frequenting the gay bars. And then I, one time I brought this uh, young man back to the hotel room, the Ambassador Hotel. Uh, was just planning on drugging him and uh, spending the night with him. I had no intention of hurting him. When I woke up in the morning, he uh, had a broken rib here. I was heavily bruised. Apparently, I had uh, beaten him to death with my fists. And you have no memory I of it? I have no memory of it. But that's what started the whole spree all over again. When you killed these men afterwards, were you repulsed? Were you upset? No, it, at the time, uh, it, was, it was almost addictive. It was almost... Uh, a surge of energy. Uh, I wouldn't have to uh, worry about um, any of their needs or anything. I just had complete control of the situation. Why did you photograph them? It was my way of remembering uh, their appearance, their physical beauty. Uh, I also wanted to keep if I couldn't keep them there with me whole, I, at least I felt that I could keep uh, their skeletons. And uh, I even went so far as planning on uh, setting up an altar with uh, the uh, ten different uh, skulls and skeletons. And what was the purpose of the altar going to be? Uh, as a sort of uh, memorial. Uh, a, a point where I could I don't know. It's, it's, it's so bizarre and strange, it's hard to describe. A place where I could collect my thoughts uh, and feed my obsession. When the bodies were still in your apartment, there was no time when you would see them and say, this is grotesque, what have I done? There were times, there were times, but the compulsive obsession with uh, doing what I was doing overpowered any feelings of revulsion. Before you went out to pick up a man, was there any kind of ritual you went through? I'd go to the nightclubs, uh, drink, watch the, uh, the strip tea shows, and uh, if I didn't meet anyone at the bars, I'd uh, go to the bath clubs and uh, meet, meet someone there, offer them money, and we'd go back to the apartment, um, have a few drinks. I'd have the, uh, the uh, sleeping pill mixture already prepared. Person would drink it, fall asleep, and uh, 
that's when they would be strangled. Watching the movie Exorcist 3 was also part of his ritual. It put him in the mood for murder. I felt so hopelessly uh, evil and perverted that uh, that I, I actually derived a sort of pleasure from watching that tape. Did you like feeling evil? No. No, I didn't. But uh, I had tried to overcome the thoughts and it worked for a while but eventually I gave in. While Jeffrey Dahmer and, may uh, say things today that make it seem like he understands what went on in his mind, he does not. All he can do is tell you what happened but he cannot stop whatever it is that drove him to kill in the first place. Do you still feel those same urges? Do you still feel that compulsion, that obsession? Uh, I wish I could say that uh, it just left completely, but uh, no, there are times when I still do, still do have uh, the old compulsions. I started having these obsessive thoughts uh, when I was about uh, 15 and 16, and they got worse and worse. What were your fantasies about? Uh, they were sexual fantasies of control, power, uh, complete dominance, uh, they became reality. Was there pleasure in that fantasy? There was excitement, uh, fear, pleasure, all mixed together. Jeff I was uh, branching out, that's when the cannibalism started, eating of the heart and uh, the arm muscle. It was a way of uh, making me feel that uh, they were a part of me. It, it, for at first it was just curiosity and then it became compulsive. Then I tried to uh, keep the person alive by inducing a zombie-like state. Um, by uh, injecting uh, first a dilute acid solution into their brain or uh, hot water and uh, it never did completely work. Could someone like you be stopped? Could you be helped? No, I, I was I was dead set on, on going with this compulsion. It was the only thing that gave me any uh, any satisfaction. You know what started it? Was there any kind of incident that you can remember? To this day I don't know what started it. And uh, the person to blame is sitting right across from you. That's the only person. Not uh, parents, not society, not pornography. I mean, those are just excuses. What was the turning point for you that made you suddenly realize that you had done something terribly wrong, something you should be sorry for? It was uh, the night of the arrest. I have no memory of what happened uh, during the six hours before uh, the last victim ran out of the apartment. I heard a knock on the door and the police were there uh, with, with the last victim. Uh, they asked me where the key was to the handcuffs. And I was, my mind was in a haze. I s sort of pointed to the bedroom and that's where they uh, found the pictures. And they, they yelled, cuff them. And I was uh, handcuffed. And uh, it, it was just the realization that there was no point in trying to hide, hide uh, my actions anymore. The, the best route was to help, help the police identify all the victims and just uh, make a complete confession. Never understood it. There was no use trying to fight it because I, I couldn't rid myself of it. It was, it was too powerful and persistent. Do you dislike it? Yes, it's caused uh, a lot of problems for me. A lot of conflicts and uh, unanswered questions. If you were out on the street now, would you still be committing the crimes? Probably. If this hadn't happened, there's no doubt I probably would be. I can't think of anything that would have stopped me.